Close it. Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, what we got for the people tonight? What's going on tonight, (laughs) y'all? So we've been getting this question so much, either in lives, we get them in the comments, that people want tips on how to travel with their family or with groups because it is a big undertaking. It sure is. So we've done many, many, many groups. So tonight we're going to give you tips, tricks, and advice on how you can make that happen. So we know that some of you guys are probably doing, maybe doing a group this year, maybe next year. Right. Um, you probably already experiencing the overwhelmness of doing it because uh-huh. it's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> so we're going to try to make it a lot less stressful for you and give you some tips. Um, the queen is actually going to take the reins on this one because, Who, yes, because she is very, <laughs> very, very good at doing groups and bringing well, people thank together you for with saying family. That. Yeah. So, uh, so stay tuned. And listen, get your paper and pencil ready so that you can get these tips. But for right now, we're going to go in the chat and start speaking to yes, our family. Yes, indeed. While we're speaking, I want you all, once y'all start listening to it, I'm going to talk to you like I'm talking to my friends, like I'm talking yep. to my family, because that's really the only way to get the total essence of what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Because I don't want you to get in the middle of something and then be like, ain't nobody tell me. Yeah. Auntie Nat. Told you. Yep. I'll give you the four one one. Yes, go. All right. What's going on, Larry? Uh, what's hey. going on, Q? Hey, Q? What's up, Lisa? Trey, Chris, Chris and Tyra, Latanya. What's going on, Fats and Latoya? What's up, Fats and Tree? Tam Tam. What's up, Tam Tam? What's up, Elma? Uh, what's going on, Kevin, Cassandra, Jerome, Regina, Diamond? All y'all in the house, Camille, <laughs> Nash, all y'all good peoples in the house. <laughs> so, uh, you we, sounded like Whitney Houston. I like to think this one, that one. What's up, fam? Uh, I hope I say your name right. So, Jada said, finally caught alive. We're glad you were able well, to catch one. We're glad that you're And you here. actually caught a good one, especially if you're trying to cruise with your family, right. friends, co workers, or just a group of people. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, I'll make sure we got everybody. What's up, Q? Yep. Raymond, hey, how you doing? Hey, Stormy. Hey, Crystal. What's up, Aria? Yep. See Beatrice, you on 2.0. Brenda. Yes, I am so excited. So Storm said, you read in my mind, I want to plan a group cruise, a group trip 2025. Yep, we got you. We got you. We got you. Either we got you or we got you. <laughs> <laughs> but by the end of it, you'll be able to make a informed decision on whether this is something that you want to take on or not. Right. Um, This is something that I just do, like... Even when we were on the group cruise that we just did on Virgin Voyages, people were like, Lynette, how in the heck did you coordinate something like this? For one, my family is huge. Yes. So doing a group trip like that is like doing a family reunion for me. Yep. Got to realize my mama has 11 siblings. My father has 13. All of them have at least two children. You do Do the math. math. Do the math. (laughs) You do the math of what Sunday dinner looks like. (laughs) So coordinating... um, big groups of people really is not a thing for me. I just kind of fall into it naturally and knowing what to do. The biggest thing for me is I don't give people options. You have, we're going to get there. Yeah. We're going yeah, to get-, we get there. <laughs> we're going to get there. Yeah. So we're going to get it. We have, we have five tips and the thing about us, we've, we've grown to love groups because groups, oh, I love groups. Groups is a great place for connection fun adventure you have somebody to do something with mm-hmm. um like when me and the queen go on vacation with ourselves y'all already know you've seen the vlogs we have ourselves time of our life and that just and, did. and we do but when we go with a group oh we my turn god up. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to a whole whole nother level so we're gonna go we got like i said we got five tips that we're gonna go through well the queen is gonna go through i'm gonna um commentary it because this is her thing and then at the end, we will take your questions. We're going to talk to y'all. We're going to talk to you. We're going to do the questions. What you got for me? All right. So the first thing that you have to do if you're planning to do a group or travel with your family, friends, or coworkers is brainstorm. Mm-hmm. The brainstorm is what, where, who, when, and the estimated cost. Break it down for them, Queen. All right. So when usually when somebody comes to me and they're like, okay, I want to do a group cruise, Automatically, I know that that's going to be the group leader. So the first thing that I want you to do, if you're the person that says, hey, this will be dope for my sorority. This will be dope for my friend circle. This will be dope for 
my family, just know the first thing that you need to do and listen to me and listen to me good. You select where you want to go. Yes. Because, and and I'm going to get ahead of myself, but the reason that I say you select where it is that you want to go, do not put them in mind when making any of these decisions. We're going to get to why I said that as well. So first of all, where do you want to go? Where are the different territories that now you want to put your footprint on? Figure that out. Do this before you even start talking to these people. Go in and do some research on what the estimated cost of this said trip may be. Right. Where is it going to? Where is it leaving from? Like, get all of those micro pieces of information and do not bring anybody else in on this part of it. Because this part is between you and what it is that you want to accomplish. And what you're basically right. doing is inviting other people along for the ride with what it is that you want to do. The reason that I'm going to say that is, let me jump ahead and then I'm going to go backwards and we're going to do like this a little bit. <laughs> when you're dealing with groups, if you let other people start driving where it is that y'all go, you're going to realize that the person that drove you over here will be the main person mm -hmm. that's going to back out, cancel or go ghost. So now you're stuck going to a destination that was never on your radar or somewhere that you've probably already gone before. But now you want to you want to reverse it back and go back because now you want them to experience it. Now you're already going into it with a negative mind space. You're already right. going into it with a little chip on your shoulder because now I got to go that back to Nassau. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because such and such don't made me. Are we going to go to Nassau because this is the easiest port and it's cheaper. But that's not your idea of what it was that you want to do. So first brainstorm, figure it all out, yeah. have your things down on the table. And this is before you even get in touch with a agent, carnival, whoever you need to have this down packed yes. so that you would know, because nobody should be a part of that decision process, but you, you're, you're the brainchild of this. Yes. And then also, uh, I wanted to pick it back off what you were saying with the estimated cost. Um, the estimated cost and the estimated payment mm -hmm. needs to be in conjunction with each other when you present it to them. Because what you don't want to do, and we've seen this with groups that have booked with our agent and groups that we've done, right. where people will get excited in the beginning until you bring them the price and the Hello. payment. So <laughs> they rah, rah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know. You know, yeah. you know down payment is 150 $1, down per person. $1,800 and, uh, you know, $150 a month. I don't got that right got now. that, man. What's going on, EJ? <laughs> hey, EJ. Yeah, so make sure you come. And, and it don't have to be exact, but just putting a price up there will actually let you find out how serious people is and whether they want to go with you or not. That part. Yes. That part. It would definitely give you an idea of where they are. Or what it is that they're willing to do. If you throw out, oh, the cruise is about twenty seven hundred, and they don't flinch, they may be somebody that's really interested in going. But if you throw it out, you say twenty seven hundred, they be like, ooh, yeah. I heard somebody got a cruise for like six hundred dollars. Cut. Yep. Run. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. Yeah. And with that being said, if there is any any hesitation, because this is one thing, and y'all can vouch for this because we all have the live life is that when somebody really wants to do something you don't have to talk them into it you ain't got to coach them you ain't got to no. pump them up because they gonna do it because they want to do it so uh -huh. when you present it to them if they're not excited and they humming high back away slowly that's it and, that's, like, and, yeah. <laughs> and, it, could, and it could be group 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 me and you or solo that's usually how it goes. So yep. we're going to get there. So we kind of talked our way into point number two, too. Yeah. Uh, so point number two is the next thing is having a conversation with the people to find out if they're interested with the price and the down payment. We touched on it. Yep. Self-explanatory. If you have a conversation with somebody, you're going to, they say what flows out of the mouth are whatever is in the heart of man. So if you start talking and they're over there, like I said, him and Han about the price or, ooh, they don't got real big out about the down payment, leave them people alone. Yeah. 
And it's not to say that you're not willing to take a chance on them. What I am saying is the success of a group depends on the people that are going. Bingo. So if those people are the people that you're depending on to make that number that it is that you have in your head that you want to come along with you and about half of those people are starting to be like, mm. and then not only that, you will also have a leader within a leadership group within a leadership group. What right. I'm saying about this is if you're dealing with my, I'm just going to say my family because I can't get in trouble for talking about my own family. <laughs> <laughs> but within my family, they are there are micro groups of people. Yes. So if you see me, you're going to see my cousin. You're going to see her husband. You're going to see her children. The one that we came off. Leave my cousin alive. <laughs> but if you see my other aunt, you automatically know that there is my other aunt, my other aunt, my other aunt that's going to come along with her. Right. No matter how much money they have, if one of those are missing, they're all going to back off. Mm -hmm. So you also have to keep that in mind, too. Who's going to be grouped with who? And if this person is shaky, then that one person could turn into five people that is shaky. And your group of 20 don't already don't went down to 15 just by one person not making a real decision or not really knowing if they want to go or not. Right. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, if you can if you can. I hate using the word convince, but if the person in the family that everybody, the person who had the greatest influence, mm -hmm. like if they, they always go, said, yeah. And, and here's the thing: I used to do a lot of church trips as well. Yeah. Let me tell you, church has prepared me for all of this. If you can get the leader, yeah, you got all the, the sheep will come. Yeah, the ones that are following them, <laughs> yeah. So, so that so that could be grandma, yeah. That could be auntie. Mm -hmm. That could be uncle. Who it is. Cousin, you know that, and hey, if they say, hey, y'all want to have a yard party this weekend, and it's Wednesday, and they pull it off. Convent, that's the person them, that you need to yeah, talk to. Them right there. I'm that person in my family. Yeah. My family would tell you, oh, Lynette, going, we're going. Yep. So use that. <laughs> Leverage that. Leverage that. Leverage that. Yes. But still don't convince. And even with that, like we said, test the motherfucking waters. Yep. Ooh, we. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see y'all saying amen. I needed this. All right, yes, yes. And, and this, this is isn't perfect to going on discourage anybody. I want you to go into it knowing that it is a major, major thing to take on. Whether or not you have a travel agent that's advocating for you to do this or that or whatever, you're the. Let's talk about it. We, you, let's you go get, to the next you step. Get a, you get a pass this time, Harry. Who, who, who? Harris said, not me being late to the family lives. <laughs> I'm about to take my earrings off. <laughs> All right. Oh, go did, on. I, did I make you lose your train of thought? No. I, okay, you good? Because we're sliding into the, my next point, and I ain't want to mess it up. I got you, got you. So the next point, point number three, is appointing a group leader or a point of contact. All right. So the person that brought all of this up, and the person that thought of this and the person that is like, okay, I think I'm ready to move forward with it. Just know that you are the group leader. Whether or not you think you are or not, if you brought it to the people, then you are the person that by default they're going to refer to. Yep. Whether or not it is a person that you've gotten in touch with a travel agent and now you want them to take over. Because guess what? You and those people are personal. Them and that travel agent is professional. Yes. They're not going to come to that travel agent with every micro question that they have. But guess who they are going to go to? You. And what you have to do is make sure that you are so down packed with the information yes. that you need. Basically, you turn yourself into a, a micro travel agent. agent. Yes. And I hate to say it like that, but whenever I'm doing groups, I basically have to talk to and get the people up get my leader up to par because your people are always going to refer to you before they refer to me right because it's personal between yeah, they know you, you. It's, yeah. it's professional between yeah. us but they know your cell phone number they don't know mine right <laughs> so you're going to have to be able to answer those questions but your question your answers are going to have to be in sync with the information that your agent sends yeah. the information that carnival provides because what you don't want to do is create this hold on that ain't what she said hold oh, on that's what not they what said. they said yeah hold on <laughs> i don't understand this no i don't think that's right you create that in your group bay 
B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got something on your hands. So the biggest takeaway for the group leader is, like we said, figure out first, is this something that you need a travel agent to get in on so that even though, like I said, I'm not even going to play with you, they're going to be asking you questions, but you will also have that person that's literally like this, that can hold your hand, right. answer your questions to be your advocate and to be able to help navigate you as you help navigate them. Yes. Figure out if that's the route you want to do. You don't necessarily have to have that. If right. you feel that you can handle it, you can go through whatever cruise line it is that you want to do a group with and speak to their group's department. Their group's department will set you up. They'll have everything. They'll give you a telephone number so that your people can call in, book their cabin, mm -hmm. pay on the phone with them. But just know they ain't really going to hold your hand no. like a travel agent might would. They are basically a booking agent. That's what they are there for. They are there to make a number, get you booked, service, boom, and get you the final payment. Yep. What's going on, Tanya? Hey, Tanya. I see that it is 238 of you guys in the house. If you're getting any value on mm -hmm. this live, go ahead and smash that like button. And I'm not sure if the queen was going to get to this right now. Oh, here. yeah, I'm going to get to it. You oh, were speaking. Oh. I don't know what you was going to say. I was oh, just talking. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this, if, if there is one mistake that we see that a group leader makes and we understand it is because we don't trust the people that we want to take on a group with us. Mm. We feel like they're going to burn us. But however, you have to lead by example. You cannot say, I'm going to start this group and you try to convince the other people in your group to book and, and you, you have not as a leader has not booked. Baby, yes. can you say that really yeah. loud? You have to, if you're the leader and this is where you said we're going and you're not booked, it, it, even if they don't know, you can still There's feel an energy. It's an energy in the group where you start seeing people delay on booking. So that's why in the group that we have set up, trust and believe if we present it to you uh, and y'all say we going, I'm already we booked. booked. I'm the first one that got a booking <laughs> on there. So, yeah, because so, guess what? Like I said, it's step one. We're going where I want to go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it might seem selfish, but at the end of the day, there's no guarantee that, like I said, that the people that I want to come along with are going to actually come along with. So if I'm going to be stuck going to a destination, it's going to be one that I actually want to revisit yes. or go to and, and put my footprint on new territory. Yep. That's it. That's all. So I know that might have hurt some of y'all feelings if you got a group that's growing what I'm and, here and for. you ain't booked. <laughs> so yeah, you're like these these folks ain't booking because you Cause ain't booked. Are you booked? Because mm -hmm. there is an energy behind it. Yes. Yeah. It's almost like telling somebody, man, you got to keep your house clean or whatever, <laughs> and they look at your shoes. Because my best friend's daddy always said I could tell a person's character by their shoes. <laughs> if they look at your shoes and your shoes not clean, I already know. <laughs> And half of the time he ain't wrong. <laughs> right. So yeah, so you can you guys can see that as the leader, it sounds like it's a great undertaking, which it is. It is. Um, but however, you could always hire an agent to help you out that have always been doing that. It could either be us or anybody else that yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying it because yeah. I'm I'm over yeah, here trying to have... poach your business. No, right. no, 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 no. I rather I rather for you if you think you're overwhelmed and stressed out and you don't want to use an agent, I rather for you use a carnival agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's it's a big undertaking. And the thing about it is that at the we don't want you to lose your friends and lose your family and coworkers over no cruise. Hello. That's why we're doing it. Hello. And let you know what's up. So basically, this this should let some of you guys know, even right now, if it's even something you want to take on for yourself. Because mm -hmm. as you can see, it is so dependent on the leader. It is. So dependent on the leader. So we're going <clears> step <throat> four. I'm going to actually give a testimony. Can I testify why Go I got a chance? Go testify why you got a chance. And the reason that I say, one, I have experience with all of this, but the reason that I really push to not do or go somewhere with everybody else in mind is for this reason and this reason alone. And I broke my own rule about a year, 
ago, mm-hmm. maybe a year, year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. And I was presented with, a, hey, I really want to go here. There are certain people in my life that I've just accepted the fact that if I don't do it with, they won't do, do it. it. And I hate it, (laughs) but this was one of those things where they wanted to go somewhere that I had no interest in going back. I've been several times, didn't want to go back. Okay, I'm taking one for the team, an expensive taking one for the team, booked. And then once I started to do things, there are other people, like I said, that automatically are attached to, oh, you're going, I'm going too. So now I'm locked in whether or not it is that everybody else continues to go. I'm now locked in because there's people attached to me that have put their money down. So what I look like going ahead and and canceling when these people going to lose out on money because they attached to me. I say all of that to say that when the numbers in COVID had started to surge once again, all of the people that convinced me to do this trip, guess what happened to them? They all canceled one by one, like a group of like 40 went down to like a group of 10. Yeah. And all of them were the ones who wanted to go. (laughs) And all of us that were the tag along slash leader were the ones stuck going. Did we have an amazing time? (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to have me a good time, whether or not I'm in my backyard in the pool whether or not I'm at the at the YMCA, <laughs> whether I'm down at the Kroger. But I don't want to pay two grand to have yeah. fun at the Kroger. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to do. Right. <laughs> and now I got a chip on my shoulder that took me a minute to get off because I'm hot. Oh, Lord. Because I don't did what you wanted to do and now I'm stuck. Right. That's why I'm very passionate about saying don't do nothing that it is that you don't want to do. Nope. Because at the end of the day, you could be going by yourself. Make sure it's somewhere that you want to go by yourself. Yep. By yourself. <laughs> so at least you ain't got to be mad with your people that's going and then being mad at the trip you're going on, too. How like double win. Low. All right. We we ready for tip number four? Yes. All right. So now you done brainstormed. You done had the conversation with your people. You've appointed a group leader. Now it's time to set up. The process. All right, so you don't got past all the people that said, "Um, yeah, I'm going," and you don't you you feel in your heart of hearts. They ready for this. Now go ahead and set this thing up. Figure out the total pricing based off of the cabins, so how many people that's going to be in it. Present those pricing. Get it set up with Carnival or a travel agent. And now it's time to however avenue you decide to do it. Now start presenting real pricing, real deadlines. Real cancellation policies, real final payment dates. Yes. To these people. Do not wait. Get it. And I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> I have a um due date for my deposits, and Carnival and Virgin has a due date for their deposits. They ain't the same. Guess why? Because I need time to autocorrect. Mine may be five days before the real one. Mine could be 10 days before the real one, because if I start to sense that this is not going the way it needs to go. Right. I need to be able to be like. (laughs) But if I'm right there and one thing about people, when they get flaky and when they start to get a little, uh, they're not going to tell you. No. Most of the time you have to reach out to them. You have to look, inquire, figure out whether or not where they are with it. Sometimes that's too late. So that's why I say make sure when you're presenting these prices, it got to be on point. Your final payment, give it to them. Deposit amount, give it to them. Deposit date, right. give it to them. Cancellation policy, give, give it, it to, to them. them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you hear me? Y'all, y'all with me? Let's just say amen. 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 All right. Uh I I, I had thought about this uh in my did I use the frame of thought? What I was going to say? Hey, I All got right. officially to say I'm 45, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if it come back, I said, so we'll just oh, go thank ahead. thank you all who wish me a happy birthday. I appreciate yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, So, uh, let's see. All right, step number five. The final step in the process. Um, I kind of went ahead of myself. Yeah, she kind of went ahead of herself. Uh, 
uh, which is returning to the group with the price. Yeah. So basically at this point, figure out how to collect money from your people. I suggest if you're going to use Carnival, go ahead and give them the number, the booking number and the PIN number so that they can do all of their payments directly through Carnival. Take yourself out of it. Do yeah. not make it personal between you because what's going to happen is you're going to start feeling like the insurance man. You remember the insurance man back in the day? He used to <laughs> stop by your grandma's house uh -huh. and pick up the insurance payment for the week. But if she didn't really have it that week, yeah. she shut the curtains on you. You don't want to start getting that relationship <laughs> with the people in your thing where you're like, hey, this is due. And they just kind of they bubble fall on Facebook Messenger. They, you know, you just seen the thing light up on their um on their iPhone that said red, but they're not responding to you. Make sure you have a clear way for them to pay. And hopefully you don't put yourself in it. If you're using a travel agent, make sure that that travel agent is one that is willing to take authorizations for your um your groups. Payments. payments. Yes. So that you're not in it. Mm -hmm. You're not in the middle. It's a business transaction between a professional and a client. Yep. So, and then so that there is a clear line of checks and balances, invoices, all of that. You don't have to worry about it. So at this point, once you get all of that down pat, now you can start getting to the point of what it is that I really want to do on this cruise. Like, we want to go here. We want to go there. You start right. thinking about your scourges and stuff like that. Really not important in this process. We just want to get you started or give you the information to be like, nah, this ain't what this I ain't want. This for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, sometimes what works out better is, hey, this is where I'm going. Oh, yeah. It will give me that information and just have yeah, them yeah. motherfuckers then, book they got doing self. Yep. And if it is, it's, it's if a you group. Come, you do, if and you if don't, you don't, I'm good because I'm you going don't. where I want to go. And then what you can do is you can just link your bookings together. Yes. So that basically it looks like you're a group, but you're not really a group. Yep. That's my TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all got in the comments? All right. So that was the last, last tip. So I'm going to go in the comments now and see what kind of questions that you guys have concerning groups and what not let's see what we got in here um mm. oh y'all been talking in this chat i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry like mr brown so i'm All right, sorry so larry said what's the next group cruise that y'all have um planned in 30 days 29 no, not, days not, yeah <laughs> 29 yeah. days yep september 30th we're going on a, on a magic out of north mm -hmm. all right let's see uh, then after that we have grown and sexy 2024 and I just, I haven't put it out there yet, but Carnival Celebration, we are doing one. Guess why? Because I want to do it again. Because yep. I need to see the rest of the ship. <laughs> so that is definitely out there. Well, it's not out there yet. It's booked. I'm booked. But I haven't put it out there yet because I haven't had time. Yep. And Tanya said it perfect. Just like us. I plan group trips, but I don't, but I don't plan group trip. Meaning husband and I decide on a place, book it, pay it. Then you, uh, then we put it out there, put the notice out there that where we're going, feel free to book your trip. Hello. Right there. You said it exactly how I summed it up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Jay? All right. Let me see. Karan said, uh, what does it mean when it says a thousand dollars? Yeah, I go to this one. They ain't got nothing to do with groups. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, we like to ask you a question, but we want to stay on one task when it comes yeah, to these groups. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Um, whether or not it's a group cruise or not, I always recommend um, insurance. Yes. But whether or not you go with the cruise lines insurance is up to you or not. You just need to make sure that what it covers is what it is that you are expecting out of it. If not, you can go and do insurance shopping. You can get insurance um, policies on trips basically anywhere. <sighs> um, some credit cards do have um, little portions that they yeah. do cover if you use that card to pay that trip. In total, you can't just use the credit card <laughs> to make one payment and think right. that they're going to cover that entire trip. Don't, yeah. 
I said we started with a group of 48 down to 42. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not a big fall off. That's actually good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Alicia said, love the shirts. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Say playing in the 27. So let's just say planning the 2027, 28 cruise. Are you allowed to bring drink packets for water like crystal like? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. I do every cruise. Try to cut. Look, try to cut the calories where I can. <laughs> All right. So uh, Cisco said, is there a discount for a group? Why not just tell your friends and family what cruise you're taking? Yep. That's a good question. And there's no really, well, with Carnival and Virgin, the ones that I primarily book, is there's <sighs> no discount when it comes to pricing on booking as a group. What it is, is there are perks that can be added on to the booking. For instance, when um we did our um when we did our first like YouTube um group last year, was it last year? Year for last? Um, with Dre and Shan from Dre and Shan TV, because we were an official group on board, we were able to send our people champagne and chocolates. We were able to have a dedicated, well, not dedicated, but we had a champagne, I mean, a cocktail hour yep. where for an entire hour, Carnival just, th you could throw them back for an entire hour, just sit there. And then other official groups that were there as well were in the group with us. Now, if you have a big party, then you can have a dedicated cocktail hour as well. But it's different things like that that now you can start to stack on to your group. If you want, you can do like onboard credits. Like that's really up to the group leader of what it is, the perks it is. For me, most of the time, I like to do a little bit of um, more of onboard credit I like to do cocktail hour. People really enjoy that. Yeah. Some people like the bathrobes. For me, I try not to gift those because who has room for two <laughs> freaking bathrobes? Right. <laughs> Especially if you're overpacked. You ain't never <laughs> lying. And stuff like that. So those are the major benefits. But also when it comes to groups, group official groups, if you have your eight or more cabins and you're booking most of the time, a lot of people don't like to do this, but you do realize with almost every promo that Carnival has immediately that deposit is non-refundable. Yep. But with groups, you have refundable rates. It is higher. They start at 150 per person. A lot of people, that's where they'd be like, oh, no, nah, just give me the $50 promotion or the 99 <laughs> per person down. But if you ever have to cancel, that money's gone. Right. But with them you can do the refundable one And as I know well. somebody probably thinking about this question. With Carnival, what's considered an official group? How many people? It's eight cabins that are that is considered an official group at double occupancy. Right. And then also, I'm asking questions on y'all behalf because I know you're probably thinking it. So as the group leader, so if they get eight cabins, do they get any benefits? There is a thing after, and I want to say 15, 16. It's 15 or 16. I can't even think at this point you'll start to get what they call credit. And then there's that's an amount of, I don't want to get into it, but there is a credit that could be, you could divvy it up. You could give it to yourself. Back in the day, it used to be a free cabin. Now it's more like a credit that either you can give to, across all of your people. You could keep it for, for yourself. yourself. You can do what you want to do with it. <laughs> it's yeah. basically an accumulation of a thank you for bringing your group along on Carnival. Yep. All right. I see there is 296 of you guys in the house. If you're still getting the value out this live, go ahead and smash that like button. Mm -hmm. What's up, David? Hey, David. Great question. And this is how we answer this plain and simple, but the benefits of an agent. The same the reason that you will hire a lawyer. They know what you don't. Right. Because <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. You stressed out. You're overwhelmed. A travel agent knows this inside and out so they can walk you through the whole entire process. And then if you already know the whole entire process, the next benefit of an agent is they can do it for you. You just send them your money and go pack. Well, we say pack, pay and go. Basically. Now, the yeah. people that cannot relinquish control or pay, pack and go don't yeah. use an agent. Because basically at this point, yeah, if you can't, relinquish we control, are your concierge. Right. And if you call that company that company is going to say oh no you have lynette 
as your point of contact, contact her. She'll get it straight for you. Yeah, so if so, you're a so person, you said that. yeah, if you're a person that cannot relinquish your control don't over anything, an don't hire an agent nope. because now you're frustrating yourself and you're and frustrating them, them. <laughs> and me. Right. So yeah, but know, I don't really have that problem. Nah. So you hire an agent because you want them in control to help you through the process. Exactly. Yeah. And then also like people be looking for like, you know, discounted price. Can you get a discounted price for losing an agent? Very rare. Very rare. Very before very COVID. Rare. Yes. Very but now, rare. They, I mean, you have to really understand how business is working these days mm -hmm. is these companies took a major hit during the pandemic. They're not really like I used to could get Carnival to dang near waive any kind of fee, any kind of admin fee. Now, if I don't get somebody on the phone that has a relationship with me, oh, you paying that fee because they're 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 in recovery mode. Yep. So yeah. Yep. And and the COVID numbers is going up again. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk I about hope it. Hope they don't shut down the cruise. Huh, man. Nah. I just got back started. <laughs> What's up, Tish? Thank you so much, Tish, for becoming a member of hey, the channel. Tish, Welcome thank you. to the Welcome. family. Welcome to the dark side. Yeah. So thank y'all for the happy birthdays. Yeah, so I happy birthdays. It. All the happy birthday wishes. All right. You're so welcome, fam. Uh, K. Unique say, hey, fam, thank you for this video. Currently booking a group for my birthday in February 2024. Yep. You need all these tips. All of them. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much there, boss. Say I'm late, but hey, got a girl's trip coming up in December. Girl's trips are fun. Yeah. I stopped doing them a long time ago because me and my friends would come back not friends. Let's <laughs> see. And then we become friends like a year later. All right. So fam said the last tip was the best tip. <laughs> said, did y'all talk uh -uh, about We're the... not talking about nothing that got nothing to do with groups. <laughs> Let's see, mm -hmm. not seeing many groups. All right, so there is one that talked about gratuities and paying them ahead of time. Uh, you definitely should, even in groups, when you're quoting your pricing to your people, quote them with gratuities in mind, especially if they're first timers, because they're going to get a sticker shock when that thing hits the day prior to getting off the ship, and they're like, What is this cost? That now I have to settle up. Yeah, so go ahead and um, I always tell people to take care of it. I can't tell you not to take it off. Big argument. I tell you not to take it off, but it's definitely a personal decision whether or not you would take them off. And hey, I'm tired of getting beat up about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, AV Pro Web Tech said, "What app do you recommend for group chats?" For group cruises, Facebook, or WhatsApp? Very good question. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad somebody asked because that was not on my radar to talk about. Okay. <laughs> I love doing groups on Virgin because Virgin has Wi Fi included. included. Yeah. So this is not a hurdle that I have to deal with. So when I know that everyone is going to have Wi Fi, automatically I send them an invite to group me. Mm -hmm. Group me has for me is the easiest way to do it. I don't like WhatsApp for the simple reason that WhatsApp makes your real personal phone number visible to everyone. And when you're dealing with groups like myself, most of the time, my groups are 90 percent of people that we don't know personally and that don't know each other. Right. So what we don't want to do is expose people's personal telephone numbers to other people. So I rarely use WhatsApp unless it's my family. Um, so GroupMe is very good for keeping everybody in the same place, but protecting everybody's privacy. Um, if you're on Carnival and everybody does not buy Wi-Fi, then the chat feature <sighs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah. is, is the way to go when it works. Yes. I will tell you, we have been on a couple of cruises and yeah. that thing has frustrated me to no end. You send a message now and they might get it two days later. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with what the chat feature is, the chat yeah. feature is basically a $5 chat that you pay for. It's for the duration of the cruise. So it's not $5 a day. It's $5 for you. It'll be $5 for him. $10 for the whole duration of our cruise. Yep. But here's the thing. Everyone that you want to talk to has to also pay that $5. If not, it's like having a phone 
and, and it's disconnected. <laughs> you ain't talking to them. So that's the best bet. I have heard other travel agents because I'm in so many um, travel agent groups where they basically tell their people, hey, if you have to, it's hard to tell people they have to do something because right. if usually when you tell somebody they have to do it, they're going to not do it just because they're rebelling against you making them do it. But they'll tell them get at least the lowest Wi-Fi package yeah. so that you can keep in touch with us on these social media platforms yeah. so that we can communicate. Exactly. And then also, this people don't do this no more, but this was like way back when the people used to take walkie-talkies. We're not doing one. that. Yeah, so... I mean, it's an option. We I wouldn't do it. it. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. But I just won't go. I, I'm I'm thinking about people who's taking, you know, seniors that are not tech savvy and stuff like that. So them them seniors yeah. can get behind that casino and make them casino slot machines sing. See, I'll try to help y'all out. I see don't look. <laughs> see one thing y'all gonna learn about me is I will take excuses. <laughs> I don't because if it's something somebody really wants to learn how to do, they will. They'll learn how to do it. What's up, Corey? Corey said, "Just got hey, back Corey. from our first cruise. Use many tips from y'all show and worked out great. Appreciate Thanks. that. Thank Appreciate you so much, that. Corey. Thank you so much. So, if you new here, um, that's Corey's testimony. So, check out the channel. You get ready to take your first cruise. We got a lot of information on here from yeah. embarkation, debarkation, how to pack, what the documentation you need, um, scourging advice. It's all on the channel. So, check it out. It is. All right, let's see." Do, 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 keep going. Do, 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 do. Hey, Candy. What's well, welcome. On, welcome, Candy. Mm, mm, mm. Do, 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 do. Is there a dedicate? Okay, put that up on the screen. Which one? Sabrina. Oh, okay. There you go. Very good question. Is there a dedicated space? Um, on the cruise that many people that blah, 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 I was waiting for my screen just went blank over here. <laughs> <laughs> like for a meet and greet. Good question. If you have an official group. You can get with the group's department and they can schedule you into like the ours is going to be in the piano bar the next time now in 29 days. They will give you different places where they will set up a table for you. They will set up a nice little tablecloth, some waistbands and whatnot right. and a sign that basically said this is your private event. So they do make space for you. Is it a space that's created for a group? No. But it is a space that they make for you, for your group. Um, and then if you have enough people, then you can talk smack and you can have things like my mentor has day parties the entire duration of the cruise. Yeah. You never see them because they're literally having a party within the cruise ship that does not include anybody but the people that came with their group. They, yep. they have them a nightclub basically all day for day parties every day until they get off the cruise. So those are the things that doing an official group can do for you as well. It gives you access to things that you as someone that just brings multiple people won't have. Right. What's going on, T-Rock? What's up, hey, fam? family? Thank you so much for the $2 uh, super chat. Preach greatly appreciated, fam. Yes, indeed. All right. Say, so, um, you had people say walkie talkers on a cruise. You just got off, really? DJ, I haven't yeah. seen that in forever. <laughs> That's been a while. But see, mm -hmm. see, my chips is useful too. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's ancient. Ooh, la. All right. Is there a such thing as a 24-hour travel agent? So um, if I have a question in the middle of the night, but don't want to disturb the no. agent. Well, well, we well. I well, can't say that because I can't tell someone how to run their business, but right. I definitely have working hours. Am I up most of the time doing work? Yes, but I'm not talking to anybody. <laughs> right. So it, it, because there has I, to be boundaries. I think, I think I think maybe what he might saying is if I, in the middle of the night I have a question, is there? Can I just send the question oh, to yeah. the agent? Yeah. yeah so we yeah. like that. Yeah. So you send it to us after hours. Yeah, we'll answer the question. You know, the if next you wanna, day, if you are a client, we'll answer the question for you. Um, the next day. The next morning. I'm glad you say if they're our client. Yeah. Now I do try to help out people as much as I can within reason, but what I can't do is also help you out, but you don't bring me your booking. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's you, like no, it's, <laughs> this hard, is, it's hard for you to to answer not only, effectively. Yeah. Well, yeah. That part too. Question. But also, this is a business. This is a business that you've gotten someone else to do. 
they have to service that booking. What's up, Tamika? Tamika said, just came back from my first cruise. I am hooked. Hey. I know that's right. Thanks for all the advice. Love you guys. You're hey, so Willie welcome. Brown. What's going on, Willie? We'll be in your area in 29 days. Yep. 28, actually, because we're going a day before. Uh, got but we're going to go hang out with my friends before we get on the ship. This might be a good one for groups. Mm, um, where yeah. and how do I... Um, Latricia, if you need someone to have wheelchair assist, if you're not using a travel agent, call Carnival and just tell them that you need it and they'll set it up in the system. But if you do a travel agent, just let them know. We can we do it with a push of a button. It's easy. Yep. Let's see. What's up, Tracy? Hey, hey. Hey, Kathy. Said, so wish I knew about <laughs> you before I, um, I got mine. Be watching your channel. <laughs> it's all right. It's all it's good. It's all right. Hey, I wish I had a travel agent my first cruise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which was a disaster. All right. So now we are we done with like the I group see. stuff? So then let me see. Uh, Camilla said, uh, can you please give the last tip again? Uh, uh, tip five. I don't know. The anointing is gone. <laughs> <laughs> My flow state is gone. So tip five was returning to the group with the pricing and, yeah. and um, down payments. Yeah, basically. And then figuring out a way to collect those payments, whether or not you're going to do it through the travel agent. I would not hire an agent that does not collect payments. I have heard some people say their agent does not collect payments. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but, um, or through Carnival, make it clear how it is that they're going to make payments. Do not put yourself in the middle of that because it becomes personal. Right. All right. What's going on, John? The greatest. Say, so how do you, how do you book a group for a specialty dining steakhouse? It is very, very hard. It is very hard, not impossible, but you definitely have to deal with the group's department to see if they can work their magic on that. Um, sometimes if the group is not big enough, it's not worth, it's not worth their while. Um, but when it comes to stuff like, because we do sizable groups, basically we're like, make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Mm -hmm. Like, we want this. <laughs> like right. the, the group wants this. The, the group wants this. Let's, you know, let's So what you gonna happen. do? What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes if they even if they tell you no, don't let up. Like be like, you sure that's not mm -hmm. something you can do? Like you can make this happen. And sometimes they can create a slot for you. I've had them do that, be like. Let's just go ahead and put them in at this time. That's not even, you know, publicly available. Let's do it like that. Thank you, Trey. Appreciate you. Let's see. Uh... All, right. all right. So now we can get into all the other cruise questions because we like yeah. to keep everything hey, um, concise because we're yeah. going to cut it off when it goes public on um, YouTube. All right. So, so that it makes sense for everybody that's in the rewatch. All right, so what y'all got? Right. Anything cruise so related? So Kathy says, so Wi-Fi, can you talk to anyone on the cruise? With Wi-Fi? Yeah, if you, uh, off the cruise, if you're using means like Facebook Messenger or if you're using a WhatsApp or anything like that, like now you can, you, you, you can chat with anybody. All right. Hey, Slim. Slim said, hey. one of the purposes of a group cruise is to split the cost of the cabin, but what do you do when everyone wants their own cabin? Um, that's kind of true because kind of true, but you can do that you without, without you are out of group. And I'm I'm glad you brought that up because a few weeks ago we started talking about picking your cruise cabin mate wisely. So like when we talked about like the prices and down payment, and then people will start and then they will end up sticking people because they're not making their part of the payment, and now the other person is stuck. Um, we've had that happen to a family member mm -hmm. <laughs> and they had to pay for the cruise all by themselves because they wanted to go because they wanted, really wanted to go. And the person just backed out on them after the down payment. So I wouldn't say groups is a benefit. It's, it can be a benefit of getting a cheaper cabin, but if you got the wrong person, you're going to be paying double pocket <laughs> yes, anyway. Yes. Yeah. But that from, is so true. Yeah, but from my experience, most of the time the people in our group, if they're solo, um, they want their own. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. want their own. Most <laughs> people you see with the double is you know, people that are together. Yeah. Or you know, best friends, best friends um, cousins, yeah. stuff like that. Like they know each other, like they know that if they say they're going, they're going. 
Um, right. Larry so- said, want to do the celebration. How was it? I'm going to tell you, I had mixed emotions and mixed thoughts about the celebration when we were on it. And then when I came home and I took it all in, because it's like it's like sensory overload. It's, uh, yeah. Um, because it's just so massive. I mean, and I know that there's bigger ships out there, but that was the biggest ship that we've ever been on. And it was like figuring out a lot of things in a short span of time. It was a six day. I felt like we needed 10 days to get through that ship. Yeah. But once I started just not trying to tackle everything and just having fun in the things that I started to explore, I enjoyed it. I I rather enjoyed it. And I kind of wanted to extend my time, which never, mm. ever happens right. on a carnival mm. cruise. I, y'all will hear me say, like, I'll, I want to extend my time on a virgin cruise every time I'm on it. But carnival, I'm like, I'm here. I don't party. I'm ready to go home. Mm-hmm. Like, I've had a good time, but we ain't time here for a home. long time. Right. But with um, the celebration, I did feel like I could have extended did my back time. Back. And yeah. that's why I'm doing it again, because now yeah. I want to go back. And do some more stuff and, and, and you know, really put my footprint on that ship. Right. What's going on, Wham? Wham Boo! Bo. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $20 super sticker. Greatly, it. greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, John, the greatest, uh, um, what's considered group is eight cabins. Eight cabins, double occupants. Double occupants. 16 people. Yep. So uh, here but we go. I will answer this question. What happens if you fall beneath that? Nothing really happens. Like they're not going to cancel the rest cancel of the, the rest of the cabins. But what it does do is it makes you ineligible for those perks. So if you're, and this is what I don't do. I don't like to promise people anything. I make them a surprise because if you promise it and you can't deliver it, that looks crazy. Right. So I make it a surprise, but those things just go away. Yep. Uh, what's going on, Cry? Uh, what does the thousand dollar off casino rate mean? Basically, it's an advertisement. It's, it's a cute little way to tell you that you're going to save a whole lot of money. But basically, whatever the fair price is, they take $1,000 off. But sometimes I've seen them not really take $1,000 off, but they are given to you in fun play or onboard credit or something like that. So just make sure that if you are interested in a casino rate, pull that rate, pull that um cruise using that rate code. Then pull it using like the early saver and really see if you're compare in yeah. compare and see. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought up the casino thing. And for those of you who do an official group with counter with the eight cabins double occupancy, you cannot anybody that has any type of deals, they cannot use them within a group. Yeah, and go into the and terms and conditions of that rate code. Most of them say not eligible for groups. Yeah. Not and, that, and that's the part that sucks because like you know and and we don't we don't fuss that carnival about it like we have like that's that will be a perfect incentive for a group that if you sitting there you got a deal with five hundred dollars onboard credit and you want to be a part of a group most likely you can't get it yeah or you book outside of the you group, group yeah. and now you have like a group that's like this right so I ain't gonna tell you what I have started doing here recently because it gave me such a headache in my business that now I just do business totally different. Because <laughs> <laughs> at one time, I don't know if y'all even noticed, like I had stopped doing groups. I would only do my own groups because I was like, they are pissing me off. <laughs> What's up, Maya? Going on the magic over Thanksgiving weekend. How's hey. the room ACs? Debating if I want to bring a mini travel fan or not. But they're pretty decent. I mean, I've never yeah, had, I've never had, I've had, never problem. had problems on any cruise. Like, nah. there's some people like, oh my God, my room is hot. I've never experienced nah, that. Haven't. I mean, I don't know if we've gotten lucky. <laughs> right. Um, but I'm also not a fan person. Like, I don't have to sleep with a fan or nothing like that. Like, honestly, I'm kind of cold by nature anyway. So I've yeah. never had an issue. Yeah, haven't had an issue. The only issues I've ever had on any cruise would be the freaking elevators are hot as hell. I, I don't get it. Like, they that's where they cut. Well, I'd rather they cut in the elevators than in the room. So Mercedes said, dang, that's that might be happening to one of the cabins in my girl's trip. I'm trying to find an alternative now before the final cruise payment. Yeah. Yeah. And it's unfortunate yeah. because people that know they're not going, they go drag that thing all the and versus way out. Let you know, Instead like, of just letting you, let you know sooner so you have time to course correct. Yeah. So like you close to the final payment date, it's going to be hard 
to get somebody to come up and pay that whole amount to take yeah. their spot. So that's where it kind of gets. Okay, everybody ain't yeah. got it like that. Right. So I wish you the best, fam. That, yeah. You know that you can find somebody because if not, that person would have to pay the whole thing. But then I'm going to tell you another thing that stuff like that does. If someone ever burns you like this, you're for, you're kind of like forever done with them. <laughs> I right. mean, and you, you may not ever it. say it. You may not ever like be like, oh, no, you can't go. But anytime that you do something and they always be like, yo, let me know. You already yeah. don't. Ain't gonna let you know nothing. <laughs> no, I can't take you serious because I know what you did the last time. Right. Um, and I mean, here's the thing. It leaves clues. <laughs> like the way people move leaves clues of how the world they gonna do. If they a person that ain't never paid their bills, phone all the way cut off, all that. All right, why you think they're gonna pay their crew? I mean, we gonna keep it 100. Yeah. Keep 100. yeah. <laughs> we at we at cruise church. I thought somebody said they said you was the you was the cruise ramp. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> With a shout music. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -mm -mm. So, fam said, can I share my drinks when I have the drink package and someone else doesn't? Not legally. Not legally, but you can do. You can do, do whatever do, you want. Do whatever you will. <laughs> <laughs> so, you won't catch me over here telling you to do it. All right. Miss Beth said, after I heard the video of the recommendation of picking your cabin mate wisely, here we go. <laughs> I canceled my cruise because she was hesitating at the beginning. <laughs> and she's a good friend. Save myself $2,100. And a friend. Hello. Yes. And a friend. Yes. All right. I see some. What's hey, up, Laugh hey, Gina? Gina? What's up? Hey, fam. Thank you both for always giving us great information. You are so welcome, fam. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again for being a member. Oh, and you done laid, are you done laid 1999 on us too? Eh, 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 we, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, fam. So she done made it rain. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Say, so have we ever been on the horizon? Listen, I got to want to go on the horizon. Yeah, <laughs> we were supposed to have. put it on my freaking list. And it's almost like the cruise that I'm afraid to book because every time we book it, something happens and it gets canceled. Yeah. COVID was a reason last time. Uh-huh. Yeah. And here's the thing. We were on the ship on um, the celebration with a ton of people that preferred the horizon. They was like, I love this ship, but they was like, it's the horizon, horizon for, for me. me. Yeah. And I was like, really? And and I, this was like a across like maybe five people that we were talking to was mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I don't care if I keep going to the same destinations. It's the horizon for me. I was like, I got to get on this horizon and see what she doing to me. Yeah. What's up, Sherry? Hey, Sherry. What's going on, fans? That question, question. I know on Carnival, it has a line of insurance for when you book. Mm -hmm. Is there one for Virgin, or mm -hmm. do I need to find something outside of Virgin? Oh, yep. no, Virgin definitely going to yeah, sell you some one. insurance. Uh-huh. Yep, they got it. Yep, they as got long, you covered. And you can, um, you can add it later on as long as it's before final payment date. You're welcome, Larry. All right, so then I said, are you going to make it a group cruise on Celebration because I'm in? Yes. It is, it is. And I'm sorry, like when I tell you, <laughs> I wasn't expecting when we came back from Grown and Sexy 2023 that so many people were immediately going to book for 2024 that when I tell you, I have literally not had a break. And I was like, well, maybe I don't need to do this one because I'm busy. But we're going to do it. I, I hope I, my, I had it in my mind to have it out by this one. And then I was like, crap, I got this group that I need to finalize and do all of that. So by the end of next week, I hope to have the booking page up yeah. and ready for it. It will let y'all know when um, live. Because the time is ticking. And I don't want the pricing to go because the pricing right now is not bad for the sailing that I selected. What I did do was originally I wanted to do, I didn't want to do June. My husband said, all the kids are out of school in June, June and people yeah. always say we do it when people, um, kids are in school. So I did a poll on our um, Facebook page. Make sure that y'all following um, our Facebook group page, our and community page. Link down in the description field if you want to join. So what I did was I put a poll out there. I said May or June. If I were going to do a cruise on the Carnival Celebration, May or June, all but three people said May. May. So it's going to be in May. And May is usually and that's our, my month. Yes, our <laughs> cruise month. So our, our excuse me, our vacation month. Yeah, I like to do. I like to get started in May. 
So What's yeah. going on, Thumb City fam? Planning their group cruise, but some other members want to use their own travel agent. Should I be worried? Okay. Um, I guess there's questions that I need to ask. Um, have you solicited the help of a travel agent? Because if you have made the ground rules that this is the agent we're going through, they don't have an option. Right. And I hate to say it like that, but you play by the rules that is set in play. Right. Or this is not something that you need to do. Guess what? If they were going on a Tom Joyner cruise, they would not going to book through another agent and have Tom Joyner experience. No. Nope. So they if that's something you put in place, they don't have options. Right. They have to book through the agent that you told them to. Now, if it's like not an official group, but it's just a bunch of people going on the same itinerary, y'all know each other. Yeah, I don't fine. see a problem with that. Right. Because at the end of the day, what they do don't affect nothing. You see what I'm right. saying? All right. So sugar, sugar hey, said, sugar. I, th I thought I knew my friend. Ooh, <laughs> sugar. <laughs> For my cabin mate, she decided she wasn't going. Then to get her off the cruise, it cost me $250. Here you go, family. We we warning you in this showing up in the chat. Yep. I'm sorry, Sugar. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but I'd rather for it to be $250 than like $2,500, dollars yeah. Uh-huh. It sucks. Yep. It does. It sucks. When you do things like this, that's like high ticketed things, mm -hmm. you really learn people. And then sometimes it, it just ends badly, well, man. I mean, better it ain't got take no cruise. Anytime that there's money involved, you get to learn people. <laughs> what you do, Shannon? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you will leave me alone today. Boy, if the country didn't come out of you that time, you was like, it ain't got to be. It ain't got to be a cream as long as money involved. That's true. Uh, what's up now, Palmas on holiday question? Hey, guys, just booked my first cruise, uh, Carnival Cruise. Mm -hmm. I had heard if you book a specialty restaurant for the first night, you get the bottle of wine for free. Is that correct? Uh, and is it per cabin? Thanks. Um, For the steakhouse, yes. You get a um, bottle of wine. I think it's per person. If I'm no, it is per cabin. It is per cabin for the steakhouse because everybody will be having like four or five bottles of wine. <laughs> so Vicky said, I'll be on the celebration on October the 1st. Can't wait. First cruise, can't wait. Oh, wow. You picked a good one. Yeah, you picked your a really one. good one. And I love it because it. there's no secret. I hate yeah. the decor of con um, carnival ships. I hate it. I hate it. So I'm so glad I'm they updated on the celebration. Man, and, when and, I and walked into the celebration, I was like, <sighs> yeah, I was like, yeah, y'all done done this right here. Yep. I'm telling you, right the clown here. colors make my brain hurt. Who thought of this and why? And then the atrium has the craziest, the no, magic, no. <laughs> yeah. the carnival magic looked like it has titties up there. I'm like, it's I just, knew he was going to do it again. <laughs> I just said, just I, wanna, I knew you was gonna say. <laughs> I just want to go through that with a sledgehammer and be like, "Who did this?" Uh, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Es, I had thought about that. Most people with the uh, air condition, the, the air condition thing. Most people oh, with balconies have issues with air conditioning because they don't know that the door has to be closed and, and locked, locked for it to work. Yeah, because they they make them energy efficient, so that way you ain't you ain't heating up the whole world. I mean, cooling up the whole world, player. Yeah. And here's the thing. Sometimes you kind of, you know this, but you forget. You forget, yeah. We were in um, Dominican Republic staying at the Hard Rock ho um, Hotel and Casino, and we're out there like, oh, this room is getting warm. And I'm like, we don't call maintenance and everything. The guy okay, but he said, do click. There you go. <laughs> I said, I feel so dumb. <laughs> we know this. <laughs> So Big Sam said, planning on going solo. I'd rather pay more for a solo room. Doing that for the carnival breeze in November. I feel you. I feel you. you Look, your peace about, of yeah, mind. Yeah, your peace of mind. Yes. It's everything. Yes. Yeah, I have some people that's like, even with people that they probably could split with, they're like, oh, no, I want my own cabin. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up, Marquita? Hey. Hello. I love watching your channel. I have my first cruise coming up in May of 2024. Okay. Is it too early to start purchasing excursions such mm -hmm. for my trip? Thank yeah. you, guys. You are awesome. Uh, Marquita, I always tell people as soon as possible, secure those excursions because the good ones go quickly. You can always change your mind later and go ahead and cancel it as long as it's yeah. not too close to the to the um, cruising date. But secure them early because anything that is good, 
everybody else is looking at it too. For instance, I wanted to do an excursion on a trip that I have coming up in December. The window to open up, because Virgin, they have windows where you can do excursions, dining and all that. Right. The window opened up and within 15 minutes, I literally fell asleep and woke up at 12, 15 and go to book that thing. I, and it was so sold out. out. I'm pissed. Yep. <clears throat> but but so, God gonna make it so I'm gonna be Yeah, there. especially if you want to go on a popular excursion, and that's like you know your your ATVs, your dolphin excursions. Uh, how about the horseback stuff? Nah, I don't. Well, I, I mean do, they I, do I, sell out, but but like most they like get stuff like we like we go doom buggies, doom buggies, uh, ATVs. Like that. Yeah. Um, a lot of the kind of like, like beach, beachy kind of snorkeling and um, stuff like that. Yeah, they sell out quickly. Yeah, so you got to jump on them quickly. Yeah. What's going on, Mocha Diva Creation? I'm going on my first um, cruise, group cruise on the Sunshine. Any advice? Hey, we did our group cruise on the Sunshine. We did do last our year. The one thing uh, I can't say about the Sunshine is. It's very group cruise friendly. Yes, what I mean is. by this is mm -hmm. it's a smaller ship. Yeah. Which means that you can get wherever you need to get and get to your people very, very quickly. That's one thing that I said. I felt like the ship never really had like a mid and a forward because you get down one elevator and you take two steps, you in the forward, you in the back. I, I loved it for our group cruise. Would I sail it again on purpose? If it's at our home port, which it will yeah, be. Yeah, we're getting it next, not next year. Yeah. Uh, in 2025. 20, yeah. um, I but, will. I mean, but, it's not a horrible ship, but it is older and it is smaller. Uh, uh, let me tell you this. If it's still the same, and I hope it's still the same, go to Sea Day Brunch. They had one of the best ones in my I'm opinion. telling you, that's, their Sea Day Brunch was the best that we've had to date. To date, yeah. Yes. I don't know if we got lucky. <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah, that C day brunt man, yeah, make you want to slap everybody. Yeah, but also I do want to say this as well. When it comes to groups, I'm not saying that the ship doesn't matter, but most of it that does matter is the company within the group. I will tell you this: when we did <laughs> our grown and sexy on Virgin just now. Most people, my cousin included, went to zero things that that cruise had to offer when it came to shows, like games, daily activities, because we all were just flowing together and having such a good time as a group. Right. So that's when I say sometimes when you're with the group, the ship doesn't matter, matter as much. Yeah. Like when we were on our group last year, um, when we what was the name of our group? Oh, Cruising, Cruising with, with the, the Fam. fam. We didn't really care about the ship. It nah, was, it was we there. wanted to go to a destination that was very much friendly so that we can all be together once we got off the ship. So we decided on Half Moon K. Half Moon K was perfect for that. It's a beach. We all got together, had a good time at the beach, got back on, and it just worked. But would we all purposely select the sunshine to cruise out of from Charleston? Probably not. Right. <clears throat> All right. Angie said, uh, how will be on the magic um sailing October the ninth? I haven't cruised out of Norfolk since returning mm. any tidbits. I heard it was very unorganized. It's much better now. Yeah. Um, they and I will say, um, y'all probably heard me say this before. One thing I can say is I don't know if we're just lucky, but usually when we because we're not complainers, but I am gonna tell the truth. Right. And when we ate them alive. They came through and was like, um, can you give us a call? Can you write an official complaint? Can you do this? I had the police department call me nope. <laughs> <laughs> from Norfolk and was like, what can we do to make it better? Like, what suggestions do you have? And when I tell you they listened to me, they took down, they even followed up with me. They were like, when is your next <clears throat> cruise? Let me know. We're going to make sure. I was like, oh. When I got back there, they had turned that thing around. And, yeah. and what I've been hearing from other people, because, you know, sometimes like they did it because they knew I would come because they know I'll talk about it again. <laughs> other people said that they really turned it around. Yeah. But, hey. But you know what? We're we yeah, going, we yeah. going, we going in 30 days. So we we'll, tell we'll, you. We'll, we'll tell you. What's up, Benji? Benji said, hey, just want to thank you guys. You're so welcome. Y'all helped me on my first cruise. Legend. Call of a legend. legend. All right. All right. Hey, Sabrina. 
Hey, hey, somebody had asked me the other day to so do Jada a group said, on the last I definitely want to join the carnival celebration. Come on with it. What's up, Flo? So Flo said, do you uh, recommend any specialty sweets like Havana mm -hmm. or um, spa sweets? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. They nice. <laughs> They're nice. Yeah, they nice. Have we did it yet? No. Because let, let me preface this by saying, I don't know if y'all have ever like really taken note of how we move is... This is how we move as a couple, right? A long time ago, like cruising won't my thing. And I will still say that cruising is not my primary thing that I gravitate to. I love all-inclusive resorts. That's my baby. If you ask me today to hop on a plane and you give me a choice, I'm going to a resort. Sign up over there. That's my thing. So what I do is, y'all have noticed, I only do cruises with groups. <laughs> <laughs> I only do cruises with groups. Well, so, not not one hundred, not one hundred all I the time. Ready to, ready to no, no, no. Get you. no. They have never seen us on a cruise without a group. Yes, they have. When they it on mini version, yeah, you see on. Wait, let's go back to. You uh, can't. You can't. Oh, that's right. You haven't no. seen us on the accountable with just me and you. That's no, because right. we don't do it. That's right. <laughs> we don't. I ain't even. It. I ain't even regular. Well. Well, first of all, every time we say we're going on the carnival trip, well, people want to go with us. The celebration was going to be that. Just me and you. Yeah. We, yeah. And then. Yeah. Because it was like, nah, y'all ain't going, going without us. <laughs> but Virgin? Oh, all day long. Let's go. Let's go. So when people be like, oh, my God, y'all. I said, Virgin might make a real cruiser out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. CW said uh, Horizon is a great ship. Not going to not not a, against going on a celebration again for the same reason you stated. But if I had my choice after sailing on both, I would choose Horizon. That's what I've been hearing. Wow. So I got to get on her. See what she's talking about. Because who's the cruise director now? Is it still cooking? I, I, on Horizon. I can't keep yeah. up anymore. Because they just had a change. See, Storm said, with all the cruises you guys have been on, even um putting suitcases away, I have <laughs> I have our suitcases in the corner in our bedroom since we have crews coming up within five months of each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Say we do put our stuff. Yeah, listen. we do put them away. It they end up in my office closet. Yes. Yeah. They used to go out in the we have a dedicated shed for stuff that we just don't want in the house. And see, like, but they they don't I, stay out there long. We tell people this too, like, the much as you see us traveling now is is smoke and mirrors. You know, we very is. transparent. Uh at one point because <laughs> we ain't have our skit together, no. our money wrong right, so we can only take one trip a year. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until two thousand and twenty two. Yeah. Is when we started doing, we did, was it nine trips? It's nine all trips? a blur. Yeah, I think it was nine to 10 trips in 2022. We've already been on four or five this year, and we still got about four left. And it is still, still smoke and mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, and the reason I say it's smoke and mirrors is because I always want to be transparent about some of the reasons that we do go on certain sailings. Because... I'm grateful and I'm grateful for anybody that has trusted me to be their travel agent. But because I do do a lot of bookings, I do a lot of commissionable um, sailings, the cruise lines have taken note of that. So sometimes they will be like, hey, Lynette, here's um, a code that you can use and we would like for you to go here. Greece was Greece wasn't actually one of those. Greece was my gift mm -hmm. for being one of the top five agents on the East coast. So that was kind of like how some people's stuff, you know, job gives them a bonus. They gave me a trip. So that was one. So but you still got to pay to go. You, and I said, <laughs> it was the most expensive free trip I've ever taken in my life. Yeah. <laughs> then there was with Virgin. When we first did Virgin, once you finish and you complete your gold status and you get your gold um, certificate of training, which means you're gold sat um, certified to sell, which is the highest level that you can be, they give you an access key, which is a code to get on board 
because now they want you to experience it to see yep. if this is a good fit for your clients. Yep. That's one. So sometimes when and you then, see us on board and right. we come back and tell you whether or not we paid for it or da 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 da. Right. Sometimes it's smoke and mirrors. Sometimes it's us working. <laughs> right. But just know that everyone that either whether we win because we're doing the work or we won something, we still always have to pay. We always have to pay and we come back and we be honest. Yeah. Like somebody has said, oh, you would say it's great because you get paid commissions. Do you know that I sell Carnival, which is the least commissioned um, cruise line out there? I make pennies right. <laughs> selling and, and, Carnival. It's and, not about that. It's about me pushing something that I know that people first getting into cruising would enjoy, enjoy and right. it's achievable. Yeah. And and uh, and if any travel agent on here, you already know Virgin does really good with commissions. Yeah, they do. But good. the thing about over here at Cold Fun Travel, if 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 Virgin start tripping, I'm gonna be tripping. We're too. gonna tripping too until you know. Don't go. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cause our thing is, we all work real hard for our money mm -hmm. to put our money out there and have a, a an experience that we shouldn't. Not that the cruise lines are perfect. But it's certain things that they should ought to be doing mm -hmm. for the amount of money that you pay. Exactly. And we would never, ever come on here and recommend something to you guys just for the commission. Never. Never. Never, never, never ever. Or if you come through our agency and you pick something and we feel like it's not good for you, I'll even if the commission is high, no, nah, you, you might want to do this right over here. But if you decide yeah. to do it, it's on you. But one thing over here is that we are not commission driven. Mm -mm. We are not. And we never will be. Nah. It's all about you. You come over here. It's all about what you want. Exactly. Right. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, say welcome Andrea, to your TED Talk. Uh -huh, Andrea said, y'all, you got to get that in this uh, group crew. <laughs> Had me jealous. I wasn't on the last one. I got to be a part of that number. Come on with it. <laughs> Because when I tell you they sell it, they they are booking up fast. What's up, Kendra? Say, hey, guys, I've been binge watching your videos. First selling in September the 7th. So excited that's coming on up. and nervous. That's a, that's, that's a perfectly that's normal. That's normal to be excited, nervous, all at the same time. Overwhelmed. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, whether you know it or not, every time we go, we still have that same feeling. Yeah, you still have you still have a little because you know. here's the thing as much as we do as much as we know every experience is a little different right the people are going to be different the vibe could be different staff i mean it's just a different experience every time you go yep and you still don't know everything i don't i do this day in and day out and i'm not going to tell you i know everything i don't right and and the, and the thing about 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 this, as much as tips that we give you guys, we've said this before, but if you haven't heard it, you're not gonna get good at cruising until, until you start you, cruising. Yeah. So like right now, you just in the knowledge stacking phase. Having knowledge don't mean that you really learned it. You just know about it right now. Yeah. But it's when you get on the ship and start to implement what you've learned, then you really didn't learn it. Now you can come back and be like, hey. Mm -hmm. I cruise like a pro. Like people yeah. come in here and be like, hey, y'all tips help me. But the tips would have never helped them if they never went on a cruise. That so I said, that, I said that to say, if you're stacking information to decide if you want to go on a cruise, you're going to be just getting information forever and ever because mm -hmm. you never is ready for anything. You will never feel like you're prepared. <laughs> never. You ever. don't. You mm -mm. don't feel like you're prepared. So you have to just do it. You definitely have to do you it. To and do it. then also we talk about this at the house, you know, not as if we're not sitting in our house. <laughs> um, we talk about this a lot too. It's good to take our suggestion. It's good to take our opinion. It go it's good to hear our thoughts on certain things, but don't take that as law always. Or gospel. Or gospel. Right. Because what we like could be totally different, different than what you, what like. you like. Right. What you enjoy I could do the same thing and totally hate it. Does it mean that it's wrong? No. Now, there are just some things that universally you could be like, oh, hell no. Nah. But if I say, oh, the food was good, like the food was amazing. Me and you don't have the same, same taste buds. Like we don't, So it's not saying that I'm lying because you get on it and the food's not as good. It also could mean there's a difference between day to day. Just like I can cook fried chicken today 
and I cook that same batch tomorrow, and it might not have that 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 yesterday's fried chicken had. It's that's just life. So I see some people to be like, oh, you said because when I when we said that the carnival magic was horrible the first time we went, it yeah, was, it was, it was, it, it was. We had an amazing time, but when we talked about the condition of the ship, the ship was filthy. The um the port was horrendous. Like the it was a bad was experience. Terrible. We had so many people was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel my cruise. Don't do that based on what we say, because. They might switch that thing around real quick. Right. And then you don't miss out on something that was like in a perfect example of that was um, this is this is Virgin Voyages. Their white pie pizza on the Scarlet Lady was amazing. It was amazing. But we went this past time. They switched up. They switched it badly. And, so and I had, don't like so, it. So we had, you know, some people's like it, it's not as good, you know, as, as y'all said, as, it, as is. Y'all said it is. But it's they switched it up. On us, and so it wasn't the same. So it's it not, was it wasn't the same when we got the one last oxtail year. pasta isn't the same oxtail, either. Nope, that wasn't the same. They got switched up, and I think it's probably because they probably switching cooks and stuff like that. So yeah, so we can say, hey, the hey the the steak is delicious when we went, and then you go and somebody else different cooked the steak. Mm-hmm. He be like, this steak up. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the unfortunate. Yeah. All right, what's going on? Uh, hey, lady. lady yo. I, uh, I guess you said, if I transfer a cruise to you and want you as my agent, do I need to go through the monthly acceptance or what do I do? Pens. How does it work? Well, yes. And if it's Virgin, you have options. Like Virgin, you can make your own payments through your link. Um, You can do it that way or you can do it through the invoicing way. But if it's Carnival, yes, all the payments. No, have she's to saying go. the monthly, I got 15 monthly like, acceptance. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and but, that's another thing. I only work with fifteen new people a month because I don't want to stack myself so much that I can't service and, my people. But also, we told them this too: the fifteen, the fifteen is for brand new, clients. brand new. But if you have a transfer, yeah, we, we, that, yeah, yeah, we don't have no limit on those because mm-hmm. basically you've you've done the work. Yeah, you've done the hardest <laughs> part of it. You've done the uh, work. So in the planning process, sometimes they could take a little bit. You it know, takes sometimes take, planning could take like a week, a week or two to get people. Yeah, so. So yeah, if you want to um if you want to come over, just go to the the, the the first time cruises page and go to the transfer and yeah. And um if you qualify, uh we'll be glad to have you. Tamika said the legend was, was great. great. And here's the thing, that's another thing, like we said about opinion. Like my cousin got on the legend, she was like, Oh hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. But she other people <laughs> can get on it and have a, and it's great, right? So that's why I said sometimes you just have to do things and have your own experiences with it. So Margaritaville, I, people got on that and it was horrible. Not to say that their experience was not horrible. Then there's some people that get on it and it's like, we know what we're getting into, and it was it was good. Right. So, how do y'all feel about the, the new carnival jubilee? I like here's the thing. A lot of my people from Texas, y'all gonna be mad with me, <laughs> but I actually tried. I actually was going to do a group cruise out of Texas. And every freaking itinerary, you mean to tell me the Jubilee can't switch it up? Yeah. It goes to the same itinerary every sailing. And it's the itinerary I just did on the celebration. So I can't do it. (laughs) Yep. I'm like... Why? Yeah, we tried to come to Texas, y'all. So when they switched that up, you know, we would take another look. Yeah, we yeah. we legit. And we took a while because I was like, they gonna they gonna switch it up, like they gonna mix and mingle. No, it goes to the same destination. And, and you time. see, and you see, we doing what we just taught you. We're not going anywhere that we, we don't, don't want to go. go. <laughs> but I was going to do Texas for my people because I got a lot of people we in got Texas. a lot of y'all so yeah if they can know um, switch up that y'all but if the itinerary ain't right I'm not no, coming we ain't doing it man all right let me see what we got here question from I don't want to mess your name up fam Laquana? I'm going on a cruise out of Miami for Thanksgiving this year with my kids okay flying so into Fort, Fort, Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale do you have any hotel suggestions and would you recommend catching a lift to the Miami port um, do you want to stay in Fort Lauderdale or you want to stay in my, I suggest because you're leaving out of uh, Miami, just go ahead and get in Miami, mm-hmm. but hotel, um, anything in Bayside, the Hampton Inn in Bayside, um, Hilton downtown is good. Mm-hmm. Intercontinental. If you want to spend that coin. Yeah. But whatever nice it is that you select, you got to get on that now for Thanksgiving. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Um, that that that's yeah, hope, hope they still got some occupancy left. Yeah. Um, I got I got mine and I'm we're not at the inter I can't say that all we're not at the intercontinental. Watch the bougie one's face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, because we're doing a Thanksgiving cruise as well. So I understand. But yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale has some good options too. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. <laughs> um Hey, Miss V, we're trying to figure out what where um what's going on with Ryan too. I literally talked about we're Ryan. Talking about this Ryan morning. in the morning. Yeah, we still trying to figure out. You I, know, we're hoping that he's good. I'll be praying for Ryan because yeah. I really have a soft spot in my heart for Ryan. And I'm like, where is it? Now, if I hit him up on Facebook, he'll talk to me, but I don't want to invade anybody's space. Right. Because when he read it, when he read it, he'll tell us. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Queen General? Say, I've been binge watching your videos because I'm going on my first cruise on September the 7th. There's a lot of y'all get ready to head on out, man. Did you read that? Yeah. Again? Yeah. No, that oh, was, that was that was somebody else. Somebody, somebody else, else literally had the almost the exact same, same comment. It was like deja vu. All right. Let's see. Uh... Um, so wham bad or uh, wham boo say i'm going on my first cruise um on virgin voyages october the 8th i mean october 8th through the 13th for my okay. birthday is the 9th i came on here today to research for my <laughs> next cruise <laughs> i want to try another cruise line and hope this will be a good fit Virgin is a fun time but yeah i will tell you it's not for everybody i will say that right so if you're you're a person that's like I can't say even if you're a real reserved person, because we have some of those people that go and they be like, baby, I had the time of my life. Mm -hmm. You just have to be open to the quirkiness. The it's just be open minded. It's that, totally that, that, you different. You said it perfect right there, being yeah. open minded. Yeah, it's just totally different than anything you've experienced before. Will you get on it and hear 100 percent of your kind of music? No, mm -mm. no, no, no. Um, the only one that kind of does it for us is Carnival. <laughs> Yeah, but when it comes, but you're gonna be able to get your oh, they're gonna play some in. music that you're gonna be able to dance to now. Don't yeah. get it twisted, but and like, have you a good time? Yeah, so you still gonna have you still gonna have yourself a good time. But this, but this last time we was on it, because you know it's always a luck of the draw, Mr. Leo. Mr. Leo, was I don't insane. know where they found this player from, but I just hope they don't get rid of him. I hope he still be there when we get back on Scarlet. He looked like DJ Cassidy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Oh, man, he told that club, the coffee shop. I mean, it was it was amazing. He did. Yeah. The only well, the only Virgin Voyages voyage when it came to partying that out top that no, I can't say that. Our first um Sunshine. Virgin. No, I'm just talking about Virgin in general. Our first time on Virgin was insane. Oh yeah. But this time? But no, no, no. Greece? Oh, Greece was insane. <laughs> and we were scared, yeah. Because when we got on the, everybody was so reserved. Air, but I, the, but I figured it out. Night. I figured it out. Everybody was freaking tired. tired. Yeah, we just flew like 13, 14 hours. Some people flew longer than that. Yeah. So everybody's yeah. there. We're we're yeah, our we bodies are so trying to just forties and fifties, jet lag and seventies. Yeah. And we were like, oh, this is about to be the most boring um, Scarlet Night ever. Maybe. Listen. <laughs> listen. The kids had me spinning in the circles, baby. They were like, come on, sis. Had me in the... <laughs> Y'all going to kill me. <laughs> I have so many nephews now. I love them. What's up, all the maids? I benched all your videos before my January 2023 cruise with my sister, and it was one of the best things I've Aww, ever done. And Stanley, appreciate awesome. that. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so I much. Love and we, we love that. Like that. Yeah, because we we want to make sure, like on our channel, that we offer the complete solution. So you come over here, you be able to get everything you need to be able to take your trip. But that actually brought something to my remembrance that I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, is there any other thing within the first time cruising realm that you guys want to learn or something you want us to go deeper into? Because we do want to make more, um, uh, uh, not lives, but uh, regular content. Regular, regular content. But we want to make sure that we give you, you know, what you need. So if there's anything you feel like mm -hmm. that you're lacking or need more information on, Let this is the time that you can put them in the chat, and we'll just we'll take a, a, 
a quick peek at peek at him. What do you, you say? A quick peek <laughs> at him um, before uh, we jump off the live. All right, go yes, on. Yes, we do um, recommend travel insurance and and um, I will. I, I, uh, yeah. uh, the the travel Allianz, travel insured travel guard AIG AIG is um um you can go through um freak I'm having a brain freeze it's too late I'm over forty <laughs> <laughs> but nationwide I've used nationwide before but also like you said make sure you're reading through and make sure that you know what it is that's being covered um this was a quick question i don't know it's k unique says a uh, question how many cabins do you need for an official group if some rooms are booked for single occupants it's it counts as 16 fully fully paid people so that means that if you have one person in a cabin that's as one so we got to get to that 16 of full Paid in full people. So that's why we was like eight people at double occupancy. Yeah. Because it's by body, but usually it works out per by the cabin count. I know it gets confusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So L Banks, I would love to see a couple's live Q&A about travel. Hmm. 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 Where my pen at? Let me see. Hmm. The person that plans everything and the person that doesn't know where they're going half of the time? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Say so I just threw shade at him. He didn't even catch it. Yeah, yeah, because I'm I'm in here. Uh Santa said I pay. That's what he said. I pay. <laughs> yeah. Someone um said something about the bright line train. I may not have answered the other person's question about Lyft or Uber. They're always my go-to, but you also can catch Bright Line, which is a train that goes from Fort Lauderdale to Miami as well. Ain't gonna fan right here. Y'all, y'all, y'all know Dwayne. This Dwayne. Dwayne is um my cousin Tree was husband, the one the wig came off. He said, Hey fam, can't wait to do it again. Love y'all. He I said I need that I, nasty. I need that nasty free champagne up in me again. I got, got me where I needed to be. I wish I wish we were going tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Here's the thing. My cousin's husband don't even drink. He don't drink like that. <laughs> yeah. So when them arms start doing like this. Yeah. Did y'all see the video when he was? Yeah. That 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 look of that champagne was kicking in. <laughs> Listen, Ooh. we had a baby. We had a time. You hear yeah, me? We did. All right. So um, Erica said more information. Best month to travel to certain destinations. That's a good one. That is a good one. All right. My chair needs some WD forty. Yeah. I'm writing them down, y'all, so I can put them in my repertoire. Long Beach Hawaii cruise in November, best hotel close to the port. I don't know that one on top of my head. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Some excursions I hear people talking about, I do, don't see, see on the call. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, you can find them on Shore Excursion Air or on um, Viator. Viator. Yeah. Um, here's right. the thing. I will tell you and we'll warn you of this that if you take a excursion that is not sold by Carnival, you better make sure that you get back in time. Yeah. Because if they're late, you're left. And that's and as a first timer, I don't recommend doing it. Right. Because the risk you have too many things that are just new going on at one time. And then you're going to add this extra layer of trying to figure out how to get, how to get back. It's just way too much. All right. So let's see. Uh, someone said, uh, uh, Simone said, um, how do we become a travel agent? And do you have to be certified and pay a fee? We actually All do. of it. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, okay, but it's about, about video ideas. Um, so oh, we, oh, video yeah, ideas. Yeah, so oh, we I do have, have one. Yeah, we have that um, on the channel. It's actually not under videos. It's under live on how to become a travel agent and actually we go through all of that. Uh, what's up, Shamise? Hey, family. What's going on, family? Uh, so, uh, Thank you so much. Ashley said, uh, can we get a video about comparison between Carnival and Royal Caribbean for families? That's not going to be me, baby, because I ain't been on Royal yet. Right. And every but, time I try to pull the trigger, I just be like, there is nothing that looks fun to me about it. What's going on, Team Reese? But Travels. I just need to go. Because... Um, with that being said, what we have talked about is doing a video on Carnival versus Virgin Voyages. 
Mm-hmm. If uh, if that's something you're interested in, just go ahead and put ones in the chat. Yeah, so we've been talking about that. The world so. is beautiful, though. And I do yeah. need to go and experience it for myself. It's just not appealing to me. I don't know why. Yeah, so once we do that, yeah, we'll come back and do But, yeah, we can't compare it now. Mm-mm. All right. Bonnie said uh, we're going on our first cruise um, to celebrate our 40th wedding anniversary. Congrats. Hey. Uh, Carnival Sunshine. Oh. What happened? Ran away from me. There you go. Carnival Sunshine. Uh, can you tell me anything about the massage and uh, couples massages? I can't tell you nothing about it because we were on a group cruise and there was no time for even sleep. Right. <laughs> Not on there. But um, we've even, done them before. I mean, they're they're good. They're overly priced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but they're good. But the they're only good. thing, yeah. The only thing that I will say about Carnival's um spas, when I tell you the haggle for you to buy product, 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 you can't relax without them trying to upsell you on different things. Are the products good? Yes, I've used them before. You can go on eBay and get the same products for like a third of the cost. But that's the only thing. It makes such a relaxing moment. Like, oh. Right. Let's see. I'm starting to see ones. Uh, I see. What's up, Carrie? Say so you guys need to come on and do a 25-day oh, no. cruise. No, no, no. <laughs> come join no. us October to mm-mm, come mm-mm. going on a Jubilee <laughs> June of 2023. I ain't even gonna lie to you and tell me I'm gonna consider that. <laughs> wow. 25, 25 days. You do know I'm an introvert, right? Wow. 25 days. Mm-mm. That's, no. That's, mm-mm. I'm starting to see ones. I'm seeing some ones. Let's, but I did get through that seven day. I got through the seven. I didn't know I could. So I think I'm ready for melanin SC on the, the two point. I think yeah. I'm ready. Uh huh. Hey, Sabrina, yeah. Um, coming in flying in the day before to Miami is a wise decision. It is almost dang near yeah, mandatory because, if you ask me. Yeah, because so much, so much could go wrong. Mm-hmm. Like on our last trip, and, and we not amateurs, but we missed our first flight. <laughs> No. And, and it was our own fault. It was. Our it wasn't own his fault. fault. It was my fault. Yeah, I I, I take responsibility too because I know better. But we had to. We, had to we was it. trying to come in two days before, so it's a good thing we wasn't doing it the day before because we would have been. It yeah. would have made things really tight. Yeah. So yeah, we recommend yeah going in the day before, so that way you dare peace of mind knowing that I can get to my cruise the next day. Hello, and then yeah, like I said, you can relax. You everything ain't so got doing tense. So yeah. So EJ said, "Do it, friend. Trust me. I came from Royal. I love Carnival, but." <laughs> so I think this is my. This hear me out, y'all. I think the reason that Royal is not appealing to me is because. Royal is beautiful and they look like resorts. So if I want to do that same aesthetic, I'm going to go to a resort. That might be what my problem with it. And also the fact that most of their people come over here and say racist stuff to me. But (laughs) um, that's a big turnoff for me because I'm like, I don't like being in spaces that I feel the energy does not accept me just walking in and looking the way that I look. Um, So, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, but, you know, I look at videos of them. I'm like, there are some beautiful ships, but I don't see nothing. Like, I'm not a show person. They are amazing. They look amazing. But after you don't threw some water two times, I don't want to see it in the mouth. Hey, I don't know. I'm going to do it. Y'all going y'all, y'all to hold my feet to the fire. I'm going to do it. I don't know what ship. Icon, if I do the icon, it's definitely not going to be like the first few that come out. That's too many people. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> That's too many people. It's too many. I, I'm, a, I'm a content creator myself. I don't want to be on the ship with a whole bunch of content creators. I love y'all, but mm-mm, mm-mm. going to be cameras mm-mm, everywhere. Mm-mm. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. And then All y'all, right. and look, y'all might not get my good side. <laughs> so Carrie said, Roy is good. Just take a group cruise. Make it fun. It is slower than Carnival. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's see. Uh, say I put on my release 
form do not sell. So, yes. And they still trying to sell and me. They, and, and they don't try to sell, sell you. Products. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's good to know. Cool. <laughs> because so, the spa will drive you nuts. So hello, are y'all still doing Grown and Sexy 2024? Yes, yes indeed. It That's, is on our it website. Is still, it's, it's still out there. It's, it's linked at it's, the bottom, ain't it? Yeah, it's linked down the bottom there. And she's still filling up. Yeah. I don't really, I don't project it making it out of the end of the year. Um, uh, Wambu, yeah, we do a back to back cruise on Virgin Voyages. Yes, I would definitely do it on. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I could do it on Carnival. Yeah, that, maybe on the celebration. Yes, I will. Yes. Yeah, maybe on a celebration. Two six days, yeah. not two seven days. <laughs> All right. So we got some more, say, more infamous add-ons um, videos. Um, Fast to the fun, mm. adding airfare with crews, behind the scenes on Carnival, et cetera. Okay. That's actually good. Yeah, who's, like actually, who's actually talking about um, doing a video on Faster to the Fun? Because we get a lot of get questions. Get a lot of questions about it. Yeah. Let's say adding airfare. And behind, and the, the, behind scenes. the scenes. We've been trying to do behind the scenes for forever. We always say as travel agents, that should be something that is an option to us once we get on board. Yeah. Because if we can see it and experience it, we can talk about it. Fam said, uh, any recommendations for family-friendly excursions in Amber Cove or St. Thomas? Yeah, she don't have to do anything. And those are beach um, places that you have to... Um, but Grants hurt um, a lot of people as families, and it depends on like the age of everyone. They like to do that tour that has like three different stops where you go down and do this, and then you do like the chocolate, and then like people do the cigars. Like it's a lot that you can you can get real creative with that, but yeah. it depends on what the people like. So sometimes when people say, "What's your recommendation?" It kind of goes with me knowing you to know what it is that. Oh, okay, that you know I can see that. Sherry said, what are your thoughts on the Mardi Gras? Haven't been on it, but I've been yeah. on the celebration. It's, it's the, the sister. Sistership, but yeah. people that have been on both prefer the Mardi Gras. They said the Mardi Gras has this like special sauce to her. Um, JMS, if you don't get off the ship and do an excursion, you got basically the ship to yourself. You have the ship to yourself. Yeah. So like if, like, especially did. if you go to a port you've been and you, or you ain't interested. Yeah. You have, you can get in the pools without a whole bunch of people there. You can go straight on up and get food without having to wait in spa. line. The spa. I mean, there's so much to do if you don't do it. We did it in Freeport. Yeah. One time. Well, we did it in Freeport twice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Why are we still here? Yeah, so we're gonna answer one more question about uh happy uh uh I guess it's kitchen or is it chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. question yeah. going on the carnival cruise um in a month. How do I find out early what events are on the ship and what day? Halloween party, 80s, etc. There's a blanket list out there. I used to have it so easily accessible that depending on the days of the cruise, you would have different things that was blanketly set up. But it's ultimately up to the cruise director what it is that they're going to have on there. Like, they're the preacher of the ship. So mm -hmm. if they say they're, most of the time, by default, you're going to have a white night. By right. default, you're going to have an 80s night, which usually consists of you just wearing loud colors. Right. <laughs> or neons or glow in the dark. And some of the cruise directors, like Ryan, he used to provide glow sticks. Yeah, that was dope. And or and glow, glow, necklace, necklaces. glow necklaces and jump ropes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, or just like Tina Turner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if you go on a cruise that's around, like when we get ready to go in October, it's always Halloween themed. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have like trick-or-treating, dress up, all that. Yeah. Speaking of, we still got to figure out who we're going to be dressed as. Y you know what? Give us some suggestions of what to dress up as. Yeah, we could we get ready, we get ready to roll on now, but we trying to figure out who could we be. Now, last year we win. were Medea and, and Joe. Joe. So we were brother and sister last yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun. That was so fun. We walked out on that deck. Somebody <clears throat> said, Oh my God. <laughs> and my cousin said, I can't stop looking at the butt because your butt is already big, and then you have a fake butt on, and this is hilarious. <laughs> Um, Larry, while we're waiting on the, what you call it, um, it's not that Freeport is not fun. We've we done just, it. We just have been to Freeport so many times. 
Listen, I think we've been to Freeport like maybe three or four times. <laughs> but Freeport's port, if you're a person that don't want to really do anything, Freeport's port has everything. I'm not gonna say everything, everything but, but a good yeah. You have seen y'all frogs. Uh, you mm-hmm. have um, is it Fat Tuesdays? One of them. One of little bars, shops, places to eat. Get you a fresh coconut. Mm-hmm. They they play the steel drums out there. Whatnot, like. You yeah. can be entertained right there in the, the port. port. And when I say re- you get off the ship and you're there, it's really nowhere to go, nowhere to ha- that you have to walk to. It's, it's there. But we've done it so many times. And we've pretty much have done every kind of excursion there has to offer in Freeport. So, yeah. So, yeah. you are, <laughs> and, and they used to have a... Um, they used to have a nice beach in Freeport that we had went to, but uh, a storm came and just destroyed it, and they have not built it. Yeah. So, like, if they ever bring it back, that's why have it like they used to have it. It was one of the best beach days. Uh, yeah, we've had, had, except for um Bimini. Yeah. yeah. All right. So somebody say y'all should go as Did Ike I and Tina. Lock? Hold on. They said I lock. Harry, I lock. Hold on. Oops. What? In my back, y'all. Can you hear me? Say so I might um knock my mic out. You did. Let me see. Can y'all? That's my cue to get off here because I'm about <laughs> ready to be tired. That so Stella hasn't even eaten. So Mike, great for shopping. It is. So I don't be doing no shopping no more because anybody that wants something, they need to come on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> the only people that I do buy stuff from, I'll take that back. That I can Tina might be a good idea though. That's my. Because we be talking about we be talking about I can that that. That hand belt like it, <laughs> and we can find one of them. Man, I've been looking for that. <laughs> but in the hoodles, what was I about to say? Uh, one track mind. Uh, Somebody said, uh, agree, uh, miss, uh, through Rick James and, and Tina, Tina Marie. Tina Marie. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Shirley oh. in America. That is James Brown. Oh, maybe I'll be James Brown. That's not <laughs> <be> James Brown. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, oh my God, that's hilarious. Well, all right, y'all. We done, we done hung out for almost two hours. Uh, we appreciate y'all. And uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Listen, mm. I'm not in shape like her. So you ain't got to be. Um, I ain't even gonna play myself like that. So you ain't got to be. Somebody said you gotta do the mushroom week. <laughs> 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 Thank you all, Mays, for becoming oh, a member of the channel. Welcome to the family, but you've already been in the family, so welcome to the membership family. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I don't buy stuff for anybody. The only person I buy stuff for is... Zaire said kid and play. <laughs> what? <laughs> I buy stuff for my friends that, that keep eye on my house when I'm gone. The Let's Obamas. See. The Obama family? Hmm. I can, uh, be, I can, be, I can be with Rock. President O'Brock, uh, I'm sorry. I'm I gotta say, you gotta put some respect. Right, put me, yeah, I gotta put the respect back on there. He, ain't, I'm my bad. That. I, I would get arrested. He ain't been arrested or nothing. But anyway, well, all right, y'all, we about ready to move on out. We thank y'all for joining the live tonight, and we're gonna catch y'all next week, either as a live or a pre-recorded I am video. Still laughing at y'all suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or pre-recorded, but either way, Not Whitney hopefully. and Bobby, oh, uh, uh, Martin and, and Gina. Hey, we could do Whitney and Bobby, and we could be, we could come on the deck and go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we trying to, we trying to close out this service, but we just can't close out this service. But we gonna close out this service now. Well, we appreciate y'all. Y'all take care. And we either way, like I said, y'all hopefully see us next week. Yes, go on. All right. Appreciate Straight from y'all. the VA. That dirty, dirty sound. Two up. Two down.